You look absolutely stunning today. <laughs> I remember John telling me he had met this girl, Laura, and he really, really liked her. And then when he finally, finally, finally got around to introducing us, I remember thinking how down to earth, genuine and likeable you are. Let's make a movie! <laughs> All this is going in. <laughs>
I would read the poem and speculate about the youth with flaunting feathers and flute, imagining what he would be like. Well, I don't need to imagine anymore, he's here, right? Jonathan David Fisher. We were and are incredibly proud of her as a little girl and the lovely, confident young lady she's become. Never lovelier than you look today. Walking you down the aisle was just as special as I expected. Laura, I give you this ring. Jonathan, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. I, with this body, I honour you. <laughs> All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Ooh, that's a bit of a tight fit, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I, Jonathan, take you, Laura. I, Laura, take you, Jonathan. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. From death us do part. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. As a married man myself, it's customary for me to give you some advice. And my advice is simple, and that is laughter. Laughter solves pretty much everything. Life, work, relationships can all be pretty testing at times, but as long as you can find the time to make each other laugh, I believe that you can get to anything in a relationship. So just remember this, couples who laugh together, stay together. And Laura, I think you'll have no trouble with that with John.
There needs to be a big shout out to the extremely talented Joe Carr, Charlotte Rosen, and actually the whole choir who got involved today. In, uh, Can you all please stand up? Hi, uh, Charlotte, Joe, everyone. And everyone give a massive round of applause. Absolutely amazing. We can't thank you enough, it made our name. My mum and dad, you've been the best that I can vouch. You did everything, everything for me growing up to make sure I had the best upbringing possible. From taking me to rugby and football every weekend to taking me and my drum kit to every venue across the Shire, you've always done everything that you can for me. You made sure that I can experience everything that life has to offer, and I've, and I've got the utmost respect for both. You've done everything for me. So again, I really want to say that. I care for you. Paul, thank you for saying yes to me for Laura's hand and always having Jägermeister in supply. Chris, you've always been so kind and caring to me and made me feel like one of your own, which I'm ever so thankful for. You raised the most incredible daughter. It's no surprise that how popular Laura is with all of her friends, in fact, everyone who she meets. Laura's infectious personality guarantees that you'll always have a light, bright laugh. You raise a kind, caring and beautiful woman who always puts others before themselves is true value of family and friendship. You can trust me when I say I will always love, honour, cherish and protect Laura until the end of my days and I'm very glad to be a part of your family. Gentlemen, on behalf of Christian and myself and John's parents, Kath and Brian, it's my great privilege and pleasure to welcome you to this celebration of the marriage of our eldest daughter, Laura, to their youngest son, Jonathan. 
I'm particularly pleased to be welcoming you to this splendid venue. A venue of some significance to the family, as Laura's grandparents, Mary and Jim, had their reception here nearly 60 years ago. I'm sure you'll agree it looks fantastic, and I hope you appreciate the marmalade consumption associated with all these jars. Earlier I mentioned the song, Never Gonna Give You Up. But on this day, I do recognize that just as Jim did with me, I'll have to devolve part of that responsibility to John and have no reservations in doing so. John, you've been part of our lives for some time now, but I'd like to publi publicly acknowledge how pleased I am that you're now officially part of the family. And as you two embark on your Sri Lankan adventure, a fitting start to the even bigger adventure that's begun today. John, your first challenge will be to keep my daughter calm on the flight. <laughs> my greatest wish for the two of you is that you will find as much happiness as Mum and I. A happiness that has grown with each addition to the family. First you, Law, then Lou, and now John. Ladies and gentlemen, the toast is Laura and John. Laura and John. How loud is Grandma's hearing? <laughs> there are a few people that are not here with us today. Sally, Baraz, grandparents on both sides. 
but I'd like to most importantly to raise a toast to the happy couple. I won't wish you luck because that suggests you need it, but I really do wish you the most success in everything you do and I hope, uh, look forward to being around, around you as you grow older. Thank you. <laughs>